make bed times the best times with Bukosmia's good night stories for kids by kids. Hey everyone, I am Aryan Vital and today I am going to be reading you a bedtime story. Once upon a time, there was a cute little boy. He lived in a village which was surrounded by complete greenery, mountains and water valleys. He lived with his grandparents who had recently moved to their native village from the city life. He loved everything about this place. He learned to enjoy the small joys in daily life and the little chores which he could help with. Every morning he woke up joyfully to watch the sun rise. He noticed how the sky changed its color beautifully. He went to the farm and noticed dewdrops on flowers and leaves. Uh he felt it resembled pearls. He saw the fluffy clouds and shapes and moving swiftly in the sky. Felt the rush of fresh air on his face. While he did all this, his grandmother called him dearly to have milk which came fresh from the cattle in farm and fragrance of uh, boiled milk. And filter coffee had filled the air. While he could listen to the shlokas and songs being played at home, also the chants of from the temple next lane, his grandfather read newspaper while they all sat down in their veranda, which means sit out area in Tamil. and told them about snippets from days from the day's news they solved the crossword together shared a few jokes and ah what a joyful way to start the day he felt and then he went to water body which they called channel near well they had they had to open a valve to run water to farms the flow of water croaking sound of frogs uh, everything was surreal He wanted to swim but did not carry a swimming costume or his tube. His grandparents spotted a dried soraka which in Tamil means a kind of vegetable which grows hollow which goes hollow when dry. They tied it across his back and he entered the well and swam happily for a long time. Slowly Tommy started grumbling in hunger making sounds. They all walked home freshened up offered prayers and sat down to have yummy breakfast spread on green banana leaf. Oh, the food tastes yummier than he the, than the way he felt. Later, he ran around playing. He even tried the bullock cart ride, fed the cattle, saw the saw the dung cakes being made. Uh oh, it smelled weird. He saw the process of farming, and he felt very respectful for every bite of food. He climbed trees and got fruits. He saw peacocks dance when it got cloudier. He walked barefoot on grass. and it felt so soothing by the evening the cattle's returning to the shed from gazing the farm produce being uh, packed to, uh, sent to market next morning the workers being paid and the sky changing colors again and the sun going down the moon rising up they all ate early dinner and played games in the front yard dayam and snake ladders were their favorite after an eventful long day mind you he did not uh, Uh, even remember his screen time here he was yawning and sleepy counting the stars in the sky wishing everyone good night being grateful for every small thing he fell asleep and then he fell asleep in his grandparents lay listening to the lull- uh, lullaby she sings so soothingly ah what a pleasant day isn't it and did you guess who the little cute boy is his name is aryan written by aryan mittal based on stories which amma and aachi told him every night Thank you.